Hello and welcome to Trash to Treasure, uh, my monthly upcycling linky for all upcycling and um, I do hope you'll join me on the blog. Um, this week I am going to be looking at um, some flowers made from tin cans. Um, that's the top and the bottom of a tin can used and you start off with an ordinary tin can and with a ruler and a pen and just get some measurements as to where you're going to cut. So with a tall can like this you can probably get um, two flowers out of it. Uh, one that would be, works with a flat base which is the top ideally for a, a tea light and one with a more rounded base which is ideal for threading some rafter through and hanging in in the garden. So if you halve your can, if it's a tall one like this it'll be about 15 centimetres exactly where the gold line is along here which take a pair of kitchen scissors and it's not half as uh, dangerous as it may sound it, it you might think it's going to be really sharp but it actually it isn't pierce through your can um, cut all the way round following your line round in my case the gold line on the tin One. You can see I've got the ring pull in the bottom there. I'm just going to flatten out the ring pull bit. Right, next thing to do is to start cutting down to make the flower leaves. So again, if you want to make sure you get them nice and even, if you take a pen, and I've been measuring one and a half centimetres around the top, and just marking round, just so that you can see where you're going to cut. That's about the right about the right distance, just go all the way round marking. You might find when you get back to the middle join that you've got a bit of an odd distance, but don't worry too much if you just do the last two or three by eye to get them roughly roughly the same width. And if you cut down to about the, uh, the, the baseline there where it, starts to, where it starts to taper in, that should be one centimetre from the top, which is about where, where you want to go down to just to make the little lip at the bottom there. Obviously, if you can cut them nice and straight, you'll have even flowers. There. And then simply bend them outwards. So they fan out into a nice flower shape. And don't worry too much if you've got little ones getting involved. These really aren't as sharp as you might imagine. I've yet to cut myself on one. And now comes the clever bit. You could, of course, just leave it like that and hang it up. I think it would actually look quite fun just, just hung from one branch there. But what I'm going to do is fold the leaves over. It just gives it a bit of a stronger, a stronger feel to it as well. So take the far corner and fold it just behind the edge of the inner edge of the following leaf like that. So once you've got one started, you're just following it all the way round. And the uh, the tin is pretty pliable, so if you get one just in the wrong place, don't worry too much. You can just unfold it and, and re-bend it down again, as long as you don't do it too many times, then it, eventually it will snap. But if I say bend that one down there and think, oh no, it's not quite right, you can just unfold it and have another little go so he's just where you want him. There we go, when you've got them all bent round, give them a press down, and there he is, one flower. Now this one, because he's got the nice flat base, is just perfect for popping a tea light in, and uh, on the table. This one, which is the other half of my, our tin can, has got a slightly ridged top. And if you actually put the tea light on there, it's quite hard to, to balance. There's another one. So we're going to use this one as one to go in the garden. And I'm just going to do it very quickly and uh, just show you how to thread the rafter through. And 
take a piece of uh, take a piece of string, just unloop one of your pieces, or just make a little gap in it. Thread a piece through. loop them back round and then he's ready to hang up in the garden. <laughs>